Okay, in the next two tutorials, we'll take a comparison between uh, trees in Unity and trees in Blender. There's always different ways you can add trees to any modeling program these days. And, and you may have your own professional tree modeling program that you could use, and it's likely you can import it into here as well. But I'll show you what the one that's built into Unity, because even though in the previous video we had added a basic tree which was the palm tree that was part of the terrain here but in this case I have an extra tree in the scene which is this one right here and I did that by adding create tree instead of before I added create train and the tree tool in, in unity is really fun in fact I don't I don't need that one I'll get rid of that yeah but it's a lot of fun and I'll kind of give you the basics and then you can develop the tree on your own but we'll start in blender in this tutorial and then we're going to come back to this tree in the next tutorial all right, so from Blender to here's my basic terrain that I was working with. So let's add a basic tree to it. And there's some, there's always some kind of tree tool. So in here, let's try this one. This is pretty popular. File, user preferences, and it's an add-on. So you just come up here and you type in sapling. That'll be blank when you start S-A-P-L-I-N-G. And you'll have this add curve sampling as a Python add-on. And you click it if it's not clicked yet right there. And then you save the user settings like that and then you can close that window then when you go to add an object to the scene with shift a then under the curve menu down here you have to you add the tree but before you do it make sure that this toolbox these tool properties are open with the t key all right and there's a really good reason for doing that so now let's go add the tree shift a do the curve add tree all right so the tree is there's the basic tree. If I zoom out, there's the basic tree in the scene like this. And the reason I had you look at the toolbox in the first place was because what you have to do in here is you, you have to, let me move this up, and then we can see all these menus. If you want to modify this tree, you have to modify it before you change anything within this scene. Because if you go and start changing things in this scene first, then this menu is going to go away. All right, so let's just go, you know, let's just change it up. We'll change the seed on it. Let's see if we, I could scale it down a little bit, shape. There's all kinds. There's my branching. Forgot how to do all the branching, branch splitting. I mean, just a bazillion options on here. Oh, too many branches. Levels. There we go. Here's a basic tree gets oh, pretty detailed pretty fast. So we have a tree to the scene. Let me see. Let's add. Let's see if we can get some leaves in there. Leaves. Show leaves. That's probably going to be way too many leaves. Oh, I clicked it. Yeah. So oh, there it is. There's a leaf. All right. So that'll be good. So now when I come into the scene, though, and if, oh, we'll, we'll see if it holds. We'll see. There, I've clicked it. But then... Oh, they must have changed that. No, is that really true? Let's see if I can change this. Let's see if I can change that down to 10 leaves per. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Okay, so in previous versions, when you made modifications to this in here, then it would, I mean, if you went into here and moved it, then your menu settings would go away over in here. So it looks like they've fixed that up. Maybe in their previous previous version. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so there's my tree in the scene like that. Well, we better get another light. Let's just shift D and add a light to the scene. Let's take a look at it. So there's a lot of detail. Let me see how many faces are. 73,000 faces on this thing. 215,000 vertices. So, but you know, you can see Blender is quite fast on my GTX 470 card. This is an i920 processor, so it's about, mm, about three and a quarter years old on this particular processor, but that GTX 470 really brings it to life. So this is a lot of fun. And so you can add, you know, these kind of effects. And then you could do, if you want a simple wind effect, you can do a simple wind effect by turning this into a soft body and adding a wind physics object to it over here, a wind force field, like that. But that's probably going to take a lot of uh, processing power since I have so many leaves on it. Well, we'll try it. Well, let's just try it since I'm in here and we're working on the tree. So I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to increase the wind so I see which way it's pointing. So it's pointing that way. So I'm going to rotate it on X by pressing RX. I'm going to point it towards the tree. A little bit like this. Let's see if this is actually going to come to life without crashing it. I have six, 
six gigabytes of memory in this computer, if I recall. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Okay, so let's see if we could actually turn this into a soft body object. Well, I doubt it. It's probably going to crash it. Here, you know what I better do? File, save as. I'll call this basic startup tree sapling. Okay, so we'll turn it into a soft body. And th that's, yeah, not responding. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh -uh. Well, anyway, I think you already get an idea of how to add a tree to the scene. If this crashes, well, at least you can experiment on your own. Your own. But this is definitely taking up a lot of resources, as you saw up there. So obviously, I need a better computer with more memory to be able to pull this off. But in order to, if you were going to do a soft body effect to kind of give it a, gen a general swing in here, then you would have to go into the vertex groups within this upside down triangle button and set your vertex groups. You'd have to see my playlist on setting soft body objects if you're not familiar, familiar with it. I have maybe a half a dozen or so videos on soft bodies that'll really get you started on it. So obviously, yeah, I didn't think that would work, but okay, well that's it for this lesson. And then in the next lesson, I'll cover the basics of building the tree in uh, Unity, and that's a lot of fun too. All right, see you then.